All right, what up, guys? Uh, Traxxas Max sure here. Uh, I just wanted to bring you a little update video about my Traxxas Rustler, and I just wanted to show you where it's at right now, and just go over a little bit of new stuff I got for it. So I did finally get my charger to work. It works great for charging two or three cells, or one cells even. Uh, works good. I figured all that out. Works great. Uh, I actually got a new battery here. It's an Onyx three cell, four thousand milliamp, with a Traxxas plug. That works great. It wasn't working at first, but we took it back to Hobby Town, and they got it. Uh, they said it was fully charged, but our car wouldn't run it. I guess the ESC would just didn't want to run it that day. But it's working perfectly now. Uh, we had a lot of fun driving down at the lake. A lot of fun. So now we're just go over here to my rest. This is sort of my work bench for now, because I don't really have anywhere else to work on it. But here's my new Venom hard case battery. It's two cell, five thousand milliamp. Uh, runs great, still got my fan running good, got the linear motor still, uh, new wheelie bar cause I broke my old one, here it is, here's my old one, see here's my old one, I broke it right, where's it at, where's it at, uh, let's see, it's right in here, I broke it, Ah, right there. See that? It ripped it right out. Huh. There. Oh, psh. There we go. Huh, I just figured out why my camera was taking bad video. Yeah. It wasn't auto-focusing. Okay, well, there we go. Now it's doing 1080p. So, yeah, I actually had to take this whole part out because it was uh, making a weird noise. So I had to take all of this, all of this around here. I would take the shock tower off, take the A-arm off, take this A-arm off, take all this out, take all these screws out. And I did that with Allen wrenches, but now they got me a new tool kit. I got some dynamite tools, all Allen wrench X heads or whatever those are called. Um, as you can see, I don't have any wheels on it because, well... I got these wheels right here. These are fine wheels. I'll probably just keep these because I'm going to get some paddle tires and some anaconda rims, black ones. Glue those on and that'll be a good sand setup. But for now, we got some Proline Street Fighters in the mail coming on the way. So those should be here soon because we actually ripped out our back ones. I threw those away already so I can't show you. But we, one of those got a hole ripped in and they were just getting wrapped around down because those pins those aren't very good for street driving so those got around ground down and they just got too thin you got a hole ripped and ripped the foam clear out but go back to the wheelie bar we actually have these rubber traxxas wheels on them very nice wheels they're great they say they only fit the jado and the max wheelie bars but they'll fit anything so yeah uh, it was running good for a while i had a lot of fun driving it but now it's just well, now we need new tires, and hopefully we should be able to do a bashing video this weekend. And that'll be a lot of fun, so I'll go ahead and upload that for you guys. And that's just why I haven't really been... Oh, yeah, going back to this, uh, more broken parts i got to show you. Uh, we have this cash for block over here. It broke. We had to replace it with the RPM one. And, oh, what else did we break? Oh, yeah. This drive shaft is such a pain. I wanted to get metal ones, but see, we had to replace this part right here. This part right here broke, so like this whole shaft through here, that broke, and inside there, I don't know if you can see this, but now you probably can't see it while the gear backs is on. But we actually got a metal one back there, a little metal coupler because that broke. Uh, let me see if I can find one. Part bag. All right. Right here. We had to put another little coupler on right there, that one in there. And we broke our little plastic one, so I guess the VXL motor is just a little a little bit much for it, so real, real rough on the drive shafts. So I wanted to get full metal ones, but Hobby Town was out. So that's what we got going there. Uh, I think that's it that I wanted to show you. Yeah, that's all I want to talk about. Um, that's your. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. But, uh, true. Uh, in about two months here, I'll be getting the Axial Exoterra, so 
Uh, I hope that's going to be a lot of fun to drive. I just hope it's not as much of a pain as Jang and all the other RC people have been telling it is. But it looks like a lot of fun to drive, so I can't wait to get that. I'll be bringing lots of videos. And my T-Max is actually out right now, too. With a bro it, We broke the front diff housing and the right suspension arm on that. So we need to replace those. It's only like $15 replacement, but we just haven't got to that. But when we do, we should be doing more for that. We actually just got a new body on it. You guys haven't seen it yet, but... When I get a bashing video, another one made for that, you should be able to see that, so, yeah. Uh, that's about all I wanted to show you guys. Just my Traxxas Rustler. Right. That needs new wheels, so there it is. It's been a lot of fun driving. Oh, yeah, we have the new RPM bumper on the front, so. Let's see, that's not very good lighting. Yeah, right there, the big old one. That saved us quite a few times. The underfins a little bit. Oh, that's right. Oh. I gotta show you my ramp I built. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is my ramp I built. This is... Oh, uh, it's dark outside right now. It's probably not the best time to record this, but... We just got this little bit of lattice. Uh, it's not like great, you can't stand on it, but it supports RC cars real well. And I just found these two little triangle pieces of wood in my shed, and I just cut one of these and I just mounted them. Right here, I think I got three screws right in the side that hold it on, and then I didn't know how to attach this stuff because this wood's too thin to screw in, so I just got some twisty ties. See, I just drilled holes right right there. I just drilled the hole, and then I just wrapped it through there and attached it onto that. And down here, these ones, this is where the car hits a lot, so these ones, these ones break a lot, so I don't know. I'll probably just not even mess with those, but it's broke on that side too. But yeah, it's a nice ramp. We've been doing... That's how I actually broke the wheelie bar. I was doing a flip off of it. Just did a nice little front flip out there. And broke the thing. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. And make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And, yeah, I should be having another video come out this weekend. Or I'll show you putting my new tires on. I'll just show you that video so you can see my new tires on my Rustler. And then I'll hopefully have a bashing video this weekend. So, thanks for watching. And... Make sure you like this video, and if you have any questions, comment down below. Thanks for watching.